When Arizona students return to school in August, it could be under a new law. SB 1431 expands the eligibility of Arizona school voucher program. Cronkite News reporter Noel Lilly spoke with both opponents and supporters of the bill to find out what Arizona parents and students can expect this fall. Earlier this year, Governor Doug Ducey signed a bill that would make all 1.1 Arizona school children eligible for the state's voucher program. That law will take effect on August 9th of this year, but not if grassroots groups like Save Our Schools Arizona have anything to do with it. Arizona's public school system is already one of the worst funded, it's the least invested in in the entire country. We should not be finding and designing programs that take more money away from these starving schools that serve 95 percent of our kids. Arizona's voucher program, the Empowerment Scholarship Account, was first created in 2011 primarily for students with disabilities. Families are given money that would otherwise be used for their students' public school. Instead, parents can use this money to pay for a private or religious school. Arizona was the pioneer in developing these. The idea behind education savings accounts is really to empower parents to customize the education of their child. At a panel discussion with the Urban Institute, Wolf said that studies have shown that these programs often benefit their public school counterparts. Teachers and administrators say that it can be easier for them to educate the students who remain because they all want to be there. Public school performance actually goes up when private school choice initiatives are launched or expanded. But SOS Arizona says the program doesn't have enough restrictions. States like Indiana set an income cap to decide who can receive the vouchers in order to prioritize low-income families who wouldn't be able to afford private school. This is not the case in Arizona. We see the statistics in Arizona year after year after year that vouchers only help affluent families. SOS Arizona says they hope to fight the law and are currently petitioning to have it pushed to the 2018 November ballot. The group has to collect 75,321 signatures from Arizonans by August 1st. In Washington, Noel Lilly, Cronkite News. Applications for the voucher program will be on a first-come, first-served basis. But Department of Education officials say applications under the new qualifications are not yet being accepted.